Hi. Hi everyone. Um, good morning. Hi. <laughs> uh, welcome finally. And this is a pure um, for yoga uh, Instagram uh, page. So welcome everyone to to Vinyasa uh, Flow 60 minutes. Um, Azmi here, and uh, I'd like to just bring you to uh, to the practice. Um, today's uh, focus is just fluidity, breath work, and um, whatever that you need to uh, to have in around your mat, uh, maybe a prop. I just set up uh, two blocks there. So if you have two blocks, place them on each side of your of your mat. Um, and also, um, this theme of the of the class is called pause and play. So we'll we'll flow, but at the time where where I pause uh, for for a moment, uh, you can stay with me uh, in the, in the pose, or you can just play around with uh, whatever you know, right? Uh, if you have a stronger practice today, I like to invite you to take it up a notch, uh, play around a bit with your, your posture, self-explore, um, which is good for you, right? Uh, take variations and also modify as much as you need to uh, according to how you feel today, right? I like to invite people to practice with the body that you have today, not the body that you thought you had yesterday. Uh, <laughs> and also um, work with some variations. Um, if you uh, the also the, the the lesson of this of this practice is to stay calm in a challenging situation, right? So whatever you are in the pose, try take one or two breaths, like you know, going into the pose. But if you can't take a, take an easier version of the pose, if you know one, I'll, I'll give you some variations also. I'll offer you some. Um, Charles pose is readily available for you to take at any time during the practice. Um, also, I'd like to bring up uh, this attention to you when uh, about the instructions. So. Try to pay attention to to what I say more than looking at the uh, at the phone, uh, because uh, at times we uh, I'll instruct and then you see at the phone because it's a mirror image. I'll do the other side, right? So just take note of that. Um, I know it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit hard, but but try to listen more than uh, seeing, right? So use use your ears as your eyes, uh, so, uh, if you may. Um, also, the, the starting of the class, um, I'll take you through a few minutes of uh, centering, of uh, giving up our gratitude with whatever is going on around the world, you know, uh, say thank you to yourself for the practice that you have, uh, your presence on your mat, and dedicate your practice. So today, my dedication to, goes to all of you who are in the healthcare, doctors, nurses, um, if you are on your mat, Thank you so much for finding the effort to take care of yourself, to take care of others, all right? So we shall begin now. So come to your mat and find a comfortable seated position. You may be sitting like this or you may be uh, crossing your legs. Whatever you are in the pose, stay still. And begin to close your eyes. The moment you close your eyes, tune in words and observe that wonderful rhythm of the breath. Finding the length and space in the spine without straining your neck, your shoulders. Let's take your right palm to your heart and your left palm to the belly. And let's all breathe into our hands and observe this important connection to the breath. From these two sacred places, we send out our gratitude. We silently say thank you to for our presence on our mats and we dedicate our practice. Before we begin, let's set an honest intention for our practice today. And whatever those intentions are, let's stay connected to this wonderful rhythm of the breath. Keeping your eyes closed, release the hands down. But stay connected to the breath. Keeping your gaze downwards with little blinks, slowly open your eyes. 
Let's begin by opening the body a little bit. So if you are in a cross-legged position, come out of it and, and come sitting on your heels. This could be here for a moment, right? You begin to take the right hand behind you on the floor, raising the left arm up to the sky as you inhale. And as you exhale, walk the right hand further away from you. Stay here, lengthen more to the left side of the body. If it's possible, drop your right elbow down to the floor. It's only if it's easy, only if it's available. But otherwise, just stay here with me for another couple of breaths. And then look down to the floor, push away from the as you inhale, then swing your body to the left. Exhale, left hand down, right hand up. Another breath, like inhale, lengthen the right side of the body. Stay here or exhale, move your left hand further away from you, maybe bringing the left elbow down to the floor, but you don't have to. Right? Stay connected to how you feel, sensations in the body. Another breath there. As you inhale, push away from the floor. And exhale, come back to center. Let's come into your hands and your knees into the cat's pose. So make sure the index fingers are pointing to the front of the mat. Press down to the base of your thumbs into the mat. Lengthen from there, draw the belly in. Knees hip width distance apart. And drop the head down and stay in your cat's pose. Just gonna wake up the core a little bit. So if today you feel a bit stronger today, you may also try to lift the knees off the floor, right? So engaging the shoulders and the hips together, drawing the belly in, pushing away from the floor. Another breath there. And then don't go into a cow pose, coming to your neutral position without sagging the belly down. To the floor. So resist the temptation of doing that. Right? So keep the belly toned, look forward, to your right arm to the front of your mat, uh, to the front of the room, left leg to the back of the room. Right palm facing to the floor. Look for a little heart. Inhale here and exhale. Turn the right palm up, lighten the fingers. Exhale, bring the elbow and the knee to touch or towards that direction. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale in. Two. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale in three. Stay there for three breaths. You can drop the knee down if it's too much for you. Two more breaths. One. Lengthen again. Inhale. Now listen up. Exhale. Bend the right elbow to the side. Left knee to the side also. Take a couple of breaths here. Again, you can drop the knee down. One more breath. Inhale, lengthen up. Reach your right arm around your back. If you can find your foot, lift your heart, press it into the hand. Otherwise, just stay there or come back to there or even there. Another breath there. We're keeping the integrity of the core. Very slowly release. Hands on the floor. And then come back to your cat's pose. Round the back. So you're going to do that on the other side in a moment. We'll come to a neutral position. Again, left side, left arm to the front, right leg to the back. Palm facing up. Look for inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, soften the fingers and the toes. Elbow to the knee. Inhale again. Exhale, two. One more time, inhale. Exhale, three. Stay there for three breaths. Two more breaths. One, inhale, lengthen. Left hand, bend to the side, right knee, bend to the side. Or you can also bring your knee down to the floor, it's too intense for you. Length and inhale, arm to the front, reach your left arm around your back, catch your foot, exhale, your heart will fall. Keep it intact near the core, very slowly release, cat's pose, round your back. Now lift the knees one or two inches of the floor. Keep the knees a little bit wider than the hips. Then slowly sit back onto your heels. And keep it the integrity of the core. Lift the buttocks up high. Inhale like down dog. Exhale, move forward to plank. Inhale, buttocks up. Exhale, bend the knees back. Again, one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, push back. Exhale. Inhale, lift. As you come forward to plank, stay in plank for five breaths. If you feel strong today, come high into your tippy toes or even point the toes back without sagging the hips down. Two more breaths. One. Downward facing dog. The final breath in downward facing dog. Right, now bring your feet together. 
Lifting the heels up high. Raise your right leg up in here. Exhale, slowly step forward. Left foot step forward. Looking forward in here. And then exhale, bring the head down. Maybe bend the knees if you need to. Then inhale, stand up. Raise your arms up to the sky. Exhale, arms by your side. Let's take a few rounds of sun sensation with the variation with it. So feet together, arms by your side. Lighten your arms as you raise them up. Inhale. Arms together, looking up. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees generously if you need to. Inhale, lift your heart. Look forward. Exhale, step, walk, or jump back to Chaturanga. Or you may just stay here with me in plank position. The rest can go Chaturanga, up dog, downward dog, or modify it. Right? And then everybody come to downward facing dog. Now bring your feet together. Raise your right leg up, inhale. Exhale, bring your right knee to the elbow. If you're feeling stronger, toes to the wrist. Inhale, lift up, lay up. Exhale, everybody knee to the nose. Inhale, lay up. Exhale, knee to the left elbow or toe to the wrist. Inhale, lay up. Exhale, downward up. Find your breath. Let's move on to the other side. Keep up. Left leg, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Pause and find your breath. Heels up, look up, inhale, step, walk or jump to the front. Exhale, head down forward. Inhale, stand up. Raise your arms. Exhale, arms by your side. Summer city. Again, inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, vinyasa through. Or stay for a moment in plank. Create strength and integrity in the core. And everybody come to downward facing down. Now bring your feet together. With the heels up. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, leg up. Now open the hip out, bend the knee, ground the left heel to the mat, going to scorpion tail. While those who are keen to go down, go ahead, roll the foot down to the floor. Stay here for a couple of breaths. And then come back to a three legged dog. Inhale, exhale, knee to the nose, look to the left, turn the back heel inwards, slap your right leg up. If it's too much, you can bend the knee, flat leg up. If you're feeling stronger, you can always lift. The foot on the floor. Right? I'm gonna stay here for oh, two more breaths. One breath. Three legged dog. Inhale. Downward dog. Check in with your breath. Left side. Left leg. Inhale. Exhale. Knee to the nose. Inhale. Leg up. Turn the hip. Bend the knee. Ground the right heel onto the floor. You can drop the foot down. Carry on, but you don't have to. Maybe too early in the program. <laughs> Another breath. Three legged dog. Inhale. Knee to the nose. Look to your right. Turn the back heel in. Slide the left leg up. It's too much. Bend the knee. Right hand up. Or lift the foot off the floor. Left foot. Two. And one. Three legged dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. And exhale. Feet together, lift the heels up, look up, inhale, step, walk or jump. Exhale, hip down, fold. Inhale, stand up, raise your arms. Exhale, arms by your side. The last one. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold, follow the breath. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, vinyasa through, or you can step or jump back to downward facing dog, or stay in plank. And then everybody down, sit down. Now let's bring your feet together. Heels up. Right leg up. Inhale. Exhale, step forward to warrior two position. Stay in warrior two, finding balance and stability. Once you find that, bend the elbows in cactus position. Chin mudra, lift the elbows up high. Straighten the front leg. Lift the front toes up. 
and bend your left knee, touch your front toes, exhale, sink down low, inhale back to our two, hands in prayer, exhale, sink low here, back to our two, now hands to the shoulders, cross the, arms, uh, cross the shoulders, sink low, and we stay for two breaths, so you swing the right leg, one more breath, come to the goddess position, arms up to the side, from there, bend your elbows, you can just stay here, or you continue to follow me. Left foot slide to the right leg. Inhale, pull, pause, exhale, lift the left knee off the mat. Take it up high to your elbow. Another breath there. Let's slowly step the left foot to the back of the mat. Hands in prayer, sing to the left side. One breath, sing low. And then propel your body to the front. Come back to your downward dog or take a vinyasa if you wish. Alright, other side. Heels up, left leg up, inhale. Exhale. Step forward, back to our two positions. From there, bend the elbows. Chin mudra. Straighten the front leg. Bend the right knee, exhale, touch the front toes. Back to our two, inhale, hands in prayer, exhale, sink to the right. Back to our two, inhale, hands cross around the shoulders, exhale, sink down. Two breaths there, strong left leg, one more breath. Come to the goddess position, arms up, bend the elbows, you can just stay there, or pull me drag the right foot to the left foot, inhale, pause. And then lift your right knee up. Right. But then step the right foot to the back of the mat. Sing low, your hands in prayer low. And then spring forward. Come to downward facing dog. Open yourself through if you wish. Then pause, check it into breath. Alright, let's move on. Feet together, lift the heels up. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale, step forward to warrior one. Raise your arms up. Flatten the back foot. Find stability here. Gently tear the mat apart with the feet. But from there, lean forward. Cross your waist, inhale. Pull your arms back. Exhale, open. Inhale, cross. Pull your arms back. Exhale, open. Last one, cross, pull the arm back, exhale, open, breathe, maybe leave the heel on the floor, maybe not. Another breath there, a little back heel on the floor, inhale, exhale, the hands in prayer. Another breath there, inhale, exhale, twist to the right, with the elbow across the knee. But for me, you can play around a bit, you can just stay here, or you can bring your the back knee to touch the back of the right leg or straighten the left leg behind your right leg. Right. I will stay for a couple more breaths. One more breath. Hands to the floor, pause. Step back to plank. Stay in plank or vinyasa through. Everybody down. I can always bring your knees on the mat. Or come to the child's pose at any time during the practice, right? But bring the feet together, moving on to the other side. Inhale, left leg. Exhale. Wall one, reach your arms up. Finding balance and stability here. Alright, ready to flow. Lean forward, hands cross. Inhale, pull your arms back. Exhale, open. Inhale, pull. Exhale, open. Last one, inhale, pull, exhale, open, stay here. Back heel, off for high lunge, inhale, exhale, hands in prayer, inhale again, exhale, twist. Stay here or play around with the pose. Couple more breaths there. I'm really sweating like a dog. <laughs> Another breath. And release both hands onto the floor, pause, 
step back to plank or vinyasa throw. Everybody double facing dog. Nice people, keep it up. Alright, let's move on. Feet together. Heels up. Right leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Step forward. Keep your hands on the floor, or maybe come into your fingertips. Right. Now from there, look forward. Keep the back heel on the mat. Inhale. Look forward. Exhale. Straighten the front leg. Head down. Fold. Inhale. Any amount of the leg to straighten is okay. Exhale. Fold again. Last one. Inhale. Look forward. Exhale. Fold. Stay here, we're gonna pause here. So for the rest of you who like to play, then go ahead, take your hands back, maybe catch the back of your knee, or do that. Whatever you need to do, challenge yourself according to how you feel today. We're gonna stay here for a couple of breaths with me, if you're not doing all that. Right, you're right, gonna bend the right knee, bring your hands to the front, lift the left leg up before, inhale, Grab the back of the right ankle with the right hand. Exhale, either you bring your left knee to the chest or you can do the standing split. Right? You stay for a couple of breaths. Put hands on the floor, look forward. Everybody bring the left knee towards the chest. Inhale, look up. Exhale, take the left heel to the front, lock it down, both hands into the right thigh. If you can go further, maybe take the pistol squat if you know what it is. Otherwise, you don't know, just follow whatever I'm doing. <laughs> and have it right there. Alright, we're gonna go back to your vinyasa or down facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, step back. Downward dog, checking with the breath. Right, we're gonna go to the other side. Lift up, lift this up. Inhale, left hand. Exhale. Step forward. Stay there. Come to the fingertips. Look for Inhale. Exhale forward. Head down. Inhale again. Exhale forward. Inhale. Exhale forward. Stay there. Five breaths. Rest one play. Carry on. Take the same duration that you did the other side. If you did just now, do the same also here. The rest can stay with me for three more breaths. Two. One. And then walk the feet slightly forward. Lift the left leg up. Inhale. So exhale, grab the back of the left ankle, head down, or bring the right knee towards the chest. Both hands on the floor. Look up, inhale. Exhale. Take the right heel to the front. Bend the left knee all the way to that pistol squat if you did it just now. Three, two, one more breath, and release. Downward dog or vinyasa too. But again, if you remind me if you can bring your knees on the floor, let's take a break here, or stay in downward dog. We will come to Charles Post if it calls for you. Alright, right. bring your feet together again, lifting the heel up high. Right leg up, inhale, exhale, step forward, bring your left knee onto the mat, and tuck your back twist. Raise your arms up, cross your waist, inhale, exhale, sink deep into the hips, open your arms, open the elbow, shoulders. Inhale, cross, exhale, inhale, cross, exhale, stay there. Only inhale, so exhale, twist to the left, inhale, right hand up. Exhale, left hand up. Again, pause here for five breaths. Those of you who want to play, go ahead and maybe pick up the foot or take a bind. Whatever you need to do, see how you feel today. A couple of breaths there. One more breath. Both hands up. Inhale. Exhale, hands on the floor. Stay here. Back toes top. Look forward. Inhale. Exhale, straighten the front leg, lift the front toes, sit back. Right. Again, inhale. Exhale, sit back, head down. The last one, inhale. Exhale, sit back, head down. For those, we should stay for five breath. For those who have the split, go for it. Why not? The rest of you, just think of grounding the right 
tie down to the floor and also think of you are staying with me think of bringing the right heel and the left knee towards each other take a couple more breaths there one more breath and take it back to downward facing up or in your circle Moving on to the other side. Good things always coming to us, fortunately. <laughs> if you raise your left leg up here, exhale. Step forward, right knee down, and tuck it back to us. Raise your arms in here. Exhale, sit low. Inhale, come across. Exhale. Inhale, across. Exhale. Stay here. Inhale only. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, left hand, exhale, right hand. Stay here or get the same option you're taking the other side. Alright, both hands up. Inhale, exhale, hands and floor. Back toes, tuck under. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, sit back. Straight in front, lift down. Bend in the inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Right, stay here or take that split if that's available. If it's not available on one side, that stay with me. Or maybe taking the left heel to the front and finding the edge in the hamstring of the left leg. Couple of breaths there. One more breath. Ready to come up from the pose, push away from the floor, let me back, downward facing down. Alright, we're gonna pause here in a moment. Not because you're already at home, I started doing this in class already, but now that you are at home, everybody's at home, it's right, we take three big breaths and expel your breath from the mouth, right? Take one deep breath, inhale, open the mouth. Second one, inhale, open the mouth. That one, inhale, open the mouth. I'm moving on to the next phase of the class with the feet together. Lift the heels up high, right leg up, inhale, exhale, step forward. Left leg up and step forward, also to lift in your heart. And exhale, full head down. Inhale, stand up, raise your arms. Exhale, arms by your side. Right. We're going to a uh, three pose. The next one is the balancing sequence. So spread your fingers, move your weight towards the right side of your foot, lift your left knee up, catching your heel and pressing to the inner thigh. Inner, the left heel and the right, the right inner thigh are pressing together. There, you should feel the resistance to go tall from the right foot. Pick up from, from the ankle, the hips, the thighs, and the hips. Then draw the left knee out of it. Think of sending the pelvis forward. Once you find stability, raise your arms up. Inhale. Exhale, hold the elbows. Again, inhale. You may stay here or exhale. If you have a back bend, go for it. But do that. Otherwise, stay here for a few more breaths. Focus, keep your eyes locked to one spot. Pay attention to the breath. Inhale back to center. Exhale, hands on the hips. To the left hand, to the left knee, to our heel, if you can pick up the leg up. Otherwise, keep it to the knee. Keep it simple, raise the knee up, inhale. Exhale, open the knee up. Right, right hand in cactus position. Take a breath and inhale. Stay here, or this are more challenge, come halfway down. Or maybe lift the hands off your knee or your toe. Find the balance there, or maybe just be happy to stay here finding a balance there. Another breath. Come back to center, inhale. Both hands and the hips. Exhale, bring the left knee to the front. Inhale again. Exhale, pull all the muscles to the spine. Straighten the leg up. Two breath there. One. Two. Leg two. Track the needle pose. Left foot on the right side. Hands in trading heel there. Exhale, sit back. Just want to play around this pose, go ahead, maybe take a twist to the left, 
or unbalanced if that's already a practice. Otherwise, we'll just stay here for five breath, four, take your time to slow the breath, calibrate, reflect, two more breath, another breath. I come back to standing position, inhale and exhale here. Right, shift it up, other side, shift your weight to your left foot, in the right heel into the left hand thigh. Finding balance and stability. Grow tall, open the knee up, drop the tailbone down. Once you're ready, hands up, inhale. Exhale, hold the elbows. Another breath, inhale. So exhale, stay here or lean back. If you have a back bend, play with it, capitalize on it. Another breath, come back to center. Inhale, exhale, hands on the hips. Take a moment if you can continue going that long, you can just stay here. Right hand to the knee, toe or heel. Inhale, exhale, open. Left hand, practice position. Stay there again, or go halfway down, or lifting your, taking the right hand off your right knee or the toe, or just stay where you are here. One more breath there. Inhale, come back to center. Both hands on the hips. Exhale, right knee to the front. Take another breath, pull the thigh and the belly toward the spine. Exhale, straighten the leg up. Two breath there. Right, flat the knee pose, right foot on the left thigh. Hands in prayer, inhale there. Exhale, sit back. Stay here or take the same option if you're taking one at a time. Right, right. Four. Three. One, stand back up, heel, and exhale, release. Right. Come to the top of your mat. If you're not already there, feet together. Take this time to wipe up your face. Sit somewhere there. I'm actually going to wipe up my sweaty face. <laughs> looking down my eyes. I can see sweat other than you. Okay. Alright, once you're ready, center yourself again, fine. Grounding, centering. On your breath, and then continue to raise your arms up, you're halfway there, palms together, exhale, four, hands to the floor, let the knees spin you too, inhale, lift your heart, and look forward, exhale, lean your through, or downward facing. So raise your heels up, lift the right leg, up. inhale, exhale, step forward. The inhale, raise your right hand up to the sky. Exhale, bring it to the front of the room. And then come high into your left fingertips. So I'm turning my head this way, uh, just to give you instructions, but actually look to your right, right? So keep lifting your chest up so that the chest is shining to the right. Stay here, if you feel stronger today, push deeper into the right foot, feel the right buttock toning up, and send both arms up to the front, all right? Otherwise stay where you are here for a couple of breaths. For that. Right. Now bring the left knee into the mat. Both hands on the hips. Look to the front. Inhale and exhale. And that's it. I should eat it that. Alright, you're gonna raise your left hand up. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Elbow crossing the hands in prayer. Alright, this is where you stop if you can't, if you're losing the balance. If you can, Lean forward. Now, look for this. So, the bind, take the bind, right? Otherwise, just stay here. Lean forward, lift the left knee off the mat. Now, we're going to pause it for five breaths. Those who want planes, close, go ahead. Maybe straighten the leg, or maybe lift the left foot off the floor, or maybe again cross the left leg behind the right thigh. So many things that you can do in one pose. But whatever you do, try to stay calm in what would be a challenging situation for you. Another breath. Right. Both hands onto the floor. Pause. Tone your belly. Step back to plank. Stay in your plank or in your satri. Everybody, double facing up. Checking with the breath. Right. Other side. Heels up. Left leg up. Inhale. 
exit, step forward, left, and up, inhale, exit, bring it to the front of the room, come high into the right fingertips, stay here or both thumbs up. Again, if you cannot stay calm with the breath, maybe drop the knee down and again return to the rhythm of the breath and don't lose your connection to the breath. It's so important that we, take, we keep this connection because it will take us safely to the end of our journey. Right, bring the right knee down to the floor, both hands up to the hips. Look to the front, inhale and exhale that. Right hand up, inhale, exhale, twist to the left. Hands in prayer, lock it down, look down. Or maybe I should use, use, use the word lockdown, right? <laughs> look down, lean forward, lift the right knee of the man. Very sensitive, this word lockdown. Stay here or play around with your pose. <laughs> You want to be serious, but you don't want to be serious. <laughs> All right, take a couple of breath there. One more breath. Both hands onto the floor. Pause. Tone your belly. Step back to plank. Bring yourself through a downward dog. All right. Bring the feet together. Right leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Step forward. I promise to give you child's pose after this, so just bear with me. <laughs> now walk your hands to the left and to the center of the mat. Find that wide angle with the legs. Turn the toes inwards. Lift your heart, inhale. Lengthen the spine. If you have got this twist tight in your hamstring, you can just stay here, right? Or you can exhale, fold forward, right? Again, you can play around this pose. I'm gonna stay for five breaths. If you can, go into a tripod position, just to be mind, just be mindful of the things around your house, around you. But don't, don't knock it down, right? <laughs> or just hold on to your ankles or the toes. Whatever you need to do that feel a bit more challenged. If you feel that it's too easy. Another breath. Those in the tripod can bring the feet on the floor. Everybody take their hands in front. Lift your heart, only inhale, look up. Exhale, you turn the heels inwards. Right. Inhale again. As you can do, Sandrasana to the right side. Bend the right knee, exhale, sit low. Stay there. Or you can even stay here for, for a simpler variation. Right? I was there, or take a bind if you wish. Or for, for, for you who have a stronger practice, pull your elbows back and lift the left foot off the floor this way. But again, you don't have to, you can just stay here with me. Fine. Or up there. Take another breath. Try to use the core to move to the other side. Right? Don't push away from the mat. Inhale and exhale. Sink. Stay here for those stronger practitioners. Take the hands back, lock the elbows in, lift. Lift them up. Lost there or even the bind if that's available. Another breath. You're going to propel the body to the right side, take up vinyasa in a moment. Ready? And come up. And to the front. Take it back. Vinyasa down dog. Drop the knees on the mat. Feet together. And come into a child's pose. Or if you need to sit up, if child pose is not working out for you today, you can sit up and find your breath. I'm going to slow things down in a moment. Just do that. You're welcome to stay in your child's pose or if you need uh, more rest. But otherwise, if you are ready to continue, let's meet me in downward facing dog. All right, let's bring your feet together. Raise the heels up. Right leg up, inhale. Now bring your right leg into a pigeon, right leg only. And then from there, you're going to drag the left knee towards your Right ankle, right. The back foot turn in. If it's too strong for you, you can always tuck the toes under this way and come up with the hips. Right. I was point the toes, press down to the feet, draw the belly in, tailbone tuck, push your hips forward, lift the ribcage, open the shoulders, and that's all you need to do. Really, uh, if it's too strong for you, you can always drop the uh, hand on the floor, 
and wait for the right time. Or tuck the back toes under if that provides better stability. The rest from the practitioners, arms back or right arm on top into an eagle pose and take the hands back. Stay for a few more breaths. Another breath. But everybody can come up to center inhale. Hands on each exhale there. Let's go forward, forward, hold safely to the right, right hand, and then both hands take your extended pigeon, left your back. Hands here, belly in, chest up, inhale, exhale forward. You stay for a few more breaths, and then you're gonna take a variation of this. Keep your back leg active. Another breath here. Now push away from the floor. Walk your hands towards the line of the hips. Can I reach that or towards that direction? Press down to the floor, lift your heart, open the shoulders, right? Now if you can play around here, if you have another variation, variation here, go ahead. Maybe pick up the left foot, but you don't have to do all that. Just stay here, checking the breath. Remember we are cooling down, we are calming down. Take a couple more breaths there. Rewind the pose, come up from the pose, lean to the right, bring the left foot in front, cross the foot over your right knee. Now don't do this common mistake, don't pull your foot in, you're going to shut your hip down. So take your foot up, so you can bring closer to the chest, you can sit more. Right? So hold the knee, left hand here, and that's really, that's all you need to do for the twist. You can go deeper, get the elbow cross or take the bind. Whatever you are, remember we are in a twist, we are coming down. This is your chance to slow the breath down more, calm the mind. That's the nature of the twist. You may close your eyes, internalize your intention, your breath. Take two more breaths there. And release it to the front. Send your left leg back. Now facing dog, vinyasa is optional. Other side, feet together, left leg up, inhale, exhale, pigeon. Bring your right knee behind your left ankle, right foot turning, point your toes and come up here. Right, table top, hips forward. Inhale, lift, very cash, open the shoulders as you exhale. Stay here, all those of you who have taken your other options, if you're taking the eagle option, left arm on top. Rest stay here with me. Another breath there. Come back to center. Fall slowly to the left. Both hands down. Extend your right leg back. That's not working for you, pull the foot close to the hip. Lift your heart, inhale, belly in, chest up, exhale, flow. Think of running down to that right thigh, pulling back into that left hip. Let's take another big breath there. Slowly, slowly pull back, lift your in here, exhale open the shoulders, stay here again, or take your another variation if you're feeling the other side. So a few more breaths. Alright, come up from the wherever you are. Sing to the left, right foot to the front, cross, right foot over your left knee. Sit flat here to the ground, find stability. Pay more importance in the physical side to the stability of the pose. Pull the knee in, right hand behind, or set up your hands any way you wish. And just make sure that you are stable and grounded into the mat. So you can slow down the breath without any issue, calm down the mind.
Um, take your right leg back. Bring up to down dog or vinyasa. Let's come to the plank position. So in five counts, you lie down all the way to the floor. Right? Come to one, two, three, four, and five. Cross your hands, rest your head onto your palms for a moment before we continue from this one. Take your hands next to your chest. So we are not going to lift your chest up first. So we're gonna use this as a pivot to lengthen more to the front of the body, right? So belly, in, chest up, lengthen more, and then you lift the chest up, shining the chest to the front of the room, right? Hands press down, feet lift or press down to the floor, and then lift the chest up higher if you can. Take the hands off the floor, right? So here or Bring your elbows for take the tactics position and think of drawing the shoulder blades away from each other. My belly is pressing in front of me, I shouldn't talk here, so you just follow me again. <laughs> if you're feeling stronger, lift the feet off the floor. I, have, I still have some juice. <laughs> and release, come down. the feet together. So here you're going to walk the right hand further forward, walk the right arm further forward, bend the right knee, take the left arm around your back, pressing the right foot into the hand, lift your heart, lift the right hand up the floor if you can, just stay there if you can, there or lift the left foot off the mat, but you don't have to do all that, right? Actually I can do that but I don't have to do because I'm instructing to you. Know, right? I'm doing the simple variation. Sit for another couple of breaths. Now, if you are feeling strong, you change to the other side without dropping down to the floor. So it's fine. So otherwise, drop down first. Then walk the left hand. Then the left knee catch. Then again, lift. Or just stay here. away from the floor. Knees together. You're going to take a child's pose with the knees together so we can fully extend the spine as it comes to pose to our back bend. Again, if you need longer in your chest pose, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, just gonna sit up. You may take one more round of vinyasa if you have the jump through. Go ahead if that's your practice. Jump through and sit down. The rest, if you don't have that, you can just straighten the legs up or take these two blocks. Lift up and straighten the legs up like so. Right? What we need to do? We'll see how you do today. All right. Now we come to a seated position. Gonna take a simple. Uh, four bend, well maybe not so simple if you have time to swing So, so stay, stay with you with the hands on the floor because they will catch your feet. Three vinyasa, uh, belly in, chest up, inhale, exhale, lean forward, stay. Again, belly in, chest up, exhale, fold, stronger, lower belly and upper thighs. The last one, inhale, exhale, fold. Wherever you are, maybe if you are just here, you just catch on here, ground the uh, calf into the floor, lift the chest and maybe just stay there, right? Whatever you do, try not to do this. Try not to bring your head down to the floor. Think of sending this wonderful heart to the toes, this chest to the knee, the belly to the thigh. And stay here. For this while we're really in the full pose, see if you can do two things, right? Soften the shoulders and soften your toes. The rest, stay with me for a couple more breaths. Right, 
Inhale, jaw and exhale. Take the hands behind your fingers, pointing forward. Press down the shoulders here. Try not to do this. You may think that you're opening up more, but you're putting your shoulder in a vulnerable position. Right? So protect the shoulder blades. Rest the shoulders down like that. Or fingers pointing to the back if you have any shoulder issues. Right? Otherwise, do that. Press down. Lift the chest up. The shoulders are ready to move and bring the hips off the floor. Hit that. If it's too strong, come to a tabletop position. Lift your heart this way. Hit that. Right. Again, don't force yourself. If your breath becomes very difficult, then you're not doing the you're not doing yoga. You're just trying to go into something that you really cannot hurt yourself. So just finding the breath here, and that's okay. There's no one in the house as well, right? Only you, right? I hope. And then slowly come down, exhale. And then come to a butterfly position. Can you do two or three more poses before we lie down to the floor? Lift your heart, inhale. Exhale, move forward if you can. Hands back. Heels in. Buttocks. Look at engage to keep the knees down safely. If you can fall, go for it. Stay away from, stay out of your so ego and see what you can do today. Right? As long as you're breathing, as long as you're keeping it fluid, that's what's more important. The lesson of the class is to learn how to stay calm in a challenging situation. I think that's what we are right now. <laughs> Alright, take another breath there. Inhale. A little low boat around your back. Slowly, slowly lie down. Bend the knees, take the knees to your chest. Before we move on for the final phase, let's take a twist. Both the hips to the left of the knees to the right. Any version of the twist, maybe cross your legs, maybe not, we just stay here. Take a few more breaths there. And change it the other side. All right. Let's finish with the uh, inversion. Right? So just raise the legs up to the sky. If you have shoulder stand, go ahead. If you have hip stand, why not take it? I will just raise the legs up and wait for your instructions. There. If you're not taking any more inversion for whatever reasons, just stay there. For this in shoulder stand. And a shoulder stand, bring your left knee towards your forehead. Hip stand, left knee to the chest. Or if you're like me, left hip down without touching the floor. Then change it the other side. And if you're like me, take your heavy baby pose. Shoulder stand, take your feet over your head. Head stand anytime you really come to your child's pose. But if you're like me, hug the knees to your chest. Shoulder stand, really take your fish pose. Hip stand may stay in your child's pose or follow us in fish pose. Right? Put this down. Hands under your buttocks if that's your preference or hands here. Press the buttocks into the hands. And lift the chest up and the hip back. You may as well lift the leg up, but you don't have to. I'll take a couple more breaths there. And release your hip down. Release your hands. Turn your head left and right on the floor. Yeah. Hug the knees to your chest. Rock your body side to side. Now cross your ankles. 
option you can rock up and take another way uh, vinyasa or just rock up and find a comfortable seated position I close your eyes take a moment to return to the rhythm of the breath return to your intentions you may stay here till the end of the class or you may begin to take your shavasana With each exhalation, allow your low back to descend to the floor. Let go of your arms, your legs. Check in with your breath. You just can stay there in your Shavasana position or if you're ready to come up from the pose, you get the toes, your fingers. Take a good stretch there, wake up to the breath, arms over the hips, stretch out your legs, your fingers, and hug the knees to your chest. Roll over to the right side, take a moment to pause. Or if you're ready, let's sit up. Plus, bring your palms together to your heart center. Everybody drop the head down to say thank you to yourself for all the practice you have done today. Let's call upon our kindness, our compassion, and call upon the clarity of the mind and the openness of the heart to carry us safely to the end of the day. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much. And, and yes, you're welcome. Thank you for, for having me on your phone today. Um, now, if you have any requests or anything that you would like to see in our future uh, live uh, streaming, please send us uh, a message through, uh, through direct messages uh, through this channel. Um, thank you everybody for these uh, wonderful comments in, uh, in this phone. Oh my God, everywhere around the world. Huh? Wow. <laughs> Even if you're in quarantine, how are you doing there? <laughs> okay, um, just to, uh, to bring up this attention to what's next uh, tomorrow, that's Jacqueline going to come to and shake your hips and the hamstrings at 9.30 in the morning. Genie will come with another vinyasa flow, 4.30. And if you want to follow me again next week on the same time, same channel, at 10.30, we are going to do, um, we're going to do Ashtanga with someone uh, demonstrating uh, with me, right? So thank you so much for, for taking the time to wake up and lay on the mats. That is the most difficult part and you've done it, right? And let's continue this practice again, although wherever you are, you can still tune into this channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Namaste.